Hey everyone, my name is Tori Alfred Laveau. I used to be an actor at Wolfpack from 2009 till 2016, and I'm here today as a part-time home organizer to help you guys with organizing your closets and drawers in order to make your life as an artist, whether you're a dancer, singer, or actor, in order to make that life a little bit easier. What are the categories that you often wear in your wardrobe and what ways can you make sure that they're stored in a way that you can see them? So as you can see, like this is called file folding um, instead of pile folding, where you kind of fold everything in half and then wedge it against each other so you see all the colors at once. Um, but you also have to consider like what happens when you have dresses or costumes or other pieces of clothing that you want to hang up. Whether I'm working with clients or working in my own closet and house, there are a few things that I always try to keep in mind to make the systems that I design work and look nice. So the first two are just about how easy it is to use your space. You wanna make sure that it is navigable, it's easy to move around, and also that everything is visible. So if I'm looking for a dress, I don't wanna to have to go oh, you know, where is everything? I can't see any of my dresses. It's so much easier if you can kind of run your hand down and see like, okay, these are the colors that I have, these are the materials, um, and to have everything be visible. So hanging up or in a drawer, like I showed you before. Uh, the second part of what I like to do with my closet and what I think really helps me get ready in the morning very quickly um, is not to get too complicated with your systems. Make sure that whatever way of organizing your closet or drawers works for you, that it is uh, simple and that it is relevant. So relevant uh, means different things to everyone. If you are a dancer, um, you're probably going to have some costumes that you use repeatedly. You're going to have your warm up gear. Um, so you need to make sure that you design your closet around uh, caring for those items and making sure they're very easily accept accessible, whoops, um, and so on for every different kind of person who works in the theater. Everyone has their own gear and everyone has uh, what's relevant to them that they need to pull out on a daily basis and make sure that's in an easy spot and things that are a little harder to store. Um, so you want to make sure that it is relevant to you and you want to make sure it's simple. And this can especially be helpful if you're sharing spaces with family or friends. Um, and just want to be able to grab your thing and go without wondering like, oh, is that in the denim category or the three-quarter length shirt category? So first, you can think about the fabric type or the weight of the garment. You can see that for me, like what I've ended up doing is putting a lot of the leather jackets close to each other while some of the lighter jackets are together in that way. And that makes it easier sometimes if it is cold or if you have a costume necessity to make sure that it's very light um, to categorize costumes and regular life things by fabric or weight. You can also look at it from a color standpoint. And I actually didn't do this with my closet, um, but I've seen some great displays in department stores and it can be very helpful and very similar to a traditional costumer's rack situation where you have things by the same color organized together. Uh, finally, this one's kind of obvious and I'm sure that a lot of you do this already, but we can organize by the type of garment, the type of piece of clothing. So like all of my shoes are together, they're not you know, on the floor, on this shelf or anything, all the bags are together. And for me, I have done jackets, dresses, and collared shirts, and sweaters over here. So you can see the kind of thinking like a costume designer or thinking like a costume shop head helps you categorize your clothes and make it easier for you to find things. So there are really easy steps that anybody can do. It just takes a little bit of time and it takes a little patience. Um, it's the hard way, but it's the right way to break in a glove. Um, so it's three steps. You're sorting, you're removing, and you're adjusting. Is this broken? Does this still fit me? Do I like this? Does it make me happy when I put it on? And if anything, you have to look at it for a while and say, I'm not sure how I feel about that. 
you can either put it into a maybe box and throw that out if you don't use it after a month, or you can just send it straight to donation. There are loads of great places around the main line that you can do that with. Um, but sorting can be really easy if you put on some great show tunes and you maybe have a friend or family member help you out. When you're living your life, when you're looking at your system, sometimes things don't work anymore. So you can schedule check-ins with yourself every year or every half a year to kind of look at your system and see what are the priorities in my life, what do I care about. Um, and yeah, none of this has to be fancy. You don't need to buy anything in order to be organized. You can use the boxes or label makers or bins that you have around the house. You really don't need to go to the container store in order to be organized and have a good productive life as a theater kid. Um, if that makes you happy, you can do that, but you really don't have to. All you need are hangers, uh, space, time, and some really good show tunes in order to make your closet work for you. It can save you so much time, it can save you so much energy, and uh, it's really just nice to have something to do in your life. Uh, and other times during the year you might see me around, but in the meantime everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and stay organized.